Hey, what's up? So how does the actual late 2012 Mac Mini perform today, 2020? Let's find out. So what I had in one of my prior videos was what was one of the cheapest systems you can buy right now that's going to perform fairly well and it's going to run Catalina and it's actually going to be the cheapest way you can get into basically the Mac ecosystem or the Mac OS ecosystem. Mine actually shipped in finally here it is so I'm going to do my video on it. This one was uh, 278 bucks. I got it just on eBay. Mine was upgraded though. Mine does have 8 gigs of RAM and it has a 256 gig SSD in, in, you know, installed in it as well. So for 278 bucks I mean that's like less money than even the S, you know, upgrading to an SSD would be on any other Mac system. So you get the entire system and they look very similar to the old, um, you know, to the new Mac maze, I'm sorry, uh, you know, maybe a little bit, the other ones are space gray now and they have a couple other options, but realistically they're almost the same chassis. This is a 2012, mind you, late 2012 Mac mini. Um, so I'm going to get into it today. I'm going to go through a basic review of this and just show people what it's, you know, how it performs on basic tasks. I plan on later actually going through a bunch of different tests, like how is it going to do on video editing and things like that. And those will come in later videos. Kind of want to do a couple on this since I did get this. Uh, but I want to show everyone, you know, if you're looking at a Mac Mini um, and you're looking, not even a Mac Mini, if you're just looking for a Mac ecosystem right now, you want to run Catalina, can you buy a two th late 2012 Mac Mini for somewhere or anywhere from, you can get them from like 180 to like 300, somewhere in that range, US. Is it going to work for you? So let's find out. Um, I do recommend the SSDs, and, and there's a way we can show you later how to upgrade them. I'll show you in another, another video. You can upgrade the RAM on these really easily. These are highly upgradable, and uh, they're just great systems all around, and we're going to go ahead and prove that to you today. All right, so really quickly, check my other video out a couple of videos ago for more description. I actually had this up on the screen with all the different ports. Just really quickly, though, I want to go through them one last time what this comes with. So it's got the power jack. It's got an Ethernet port. It's got the uh, FireWire port. It's got HDMI out. It's got a Thunderbolt 1 port, um, and it's got a bunch of... Um, you know, H, uh, I'm sorry, USB ports here, full size USB ports. I believe they're 2.0 or higher. We got an SD card and we got basically, um, you know, your, your audio cables right here. So you can put headphone jacks and things like that. And so it's got a ton of different ports for it. You know, obviously it's not going to have the newest USB type C and things like that because it is 2012. But for the, for the most part, I mean, it's, you know, this is actually a vent hole down here, but I mean, you can actually slide this off and do a lot of upgrades to it. So let's go ahead and I'm going to show you a little bit of how, I'm going to show you how fast it can boot up and then just show you some basic tasks today. And we'll see if it's actually something that you may want to buy. All right, so I want to show everyone how fast this can boot into the system. So this is a 2012 Mac Mini again, the late model. And uh, so if your system doesn't boot this fast, you got to ask some questions because this is 12 years old. So on the count of three, one, two, three, just turned it on. So let's go ahead and watch this. Let's see how long this takes to boot up. Um, it is on and it's slowly going here, but there's the Apple icon. That was fairly quick. Now it's doing its boot system. Here it goes. Look at it. I mean, it's really actually pretty quick. I mean, even the new systems aren't sometimes this quick. So uh, let's go ahead and let it boot in here in a second. And then I'm going to put my password in and we'll show you how fast that is. So there it is. So that basically, what was that? 15, 20 seconds maybe? Again, 2012, not too bad. Um, again, mine was upgraded. Someone put in the SSD drive and it has 8 gigs of RAM. But um, I'm not exactly even sure what they put in there for the SSD. So we're going to do some tests on that as well. Let me go ahead and put my password in. All right, there we go. So there it is. And let's see how long this takes to load into the system. So again, we're running Catalina, um, one of the newer systems here. And uh, you can see that obviously it's the newest OS for the Mac you know, ecosystem here. I haven't updated it fully, I guess. I mean, I just, just literally put this on. So, um, But I want to show everyone how this can run and show people that, you know, this is actually a really, really capable system, um, you know, for $279. So let's go in and run some basic stuff. I might just leave it in this format because it might be easier to do it this way. Long story short, let's get into it. Um, if I go up here, I want to show you a couple things about this Mac. I am actually going to cover up <laughs> this this right here. Um, it's a late 2012, 2.5 gigahertz, 8 gigs of memory, DDR3. It's got the HD graphics 4000. Um, so Let's go ahead. I don't want to show people my serial number if I can help that. Um, Acer basically is my monitor here that doesn't come with it, but it's a 1920 by 1080. You can definitely get a better resolution than that if you want to um, by connecting through the actual um, display port that's actually on here as well. So there's a display port you can actually use. I think it goes up to like 26 or 2800 by something. So substantially better than this, but I'm just running 1920 by uh, 1080 right now. Storage on this again is a 240 gig SSD. I have 214 basically 
physically usable right now. Memory, again, eight gigs on this system right here, DDR3, thir uh, one three, uh, thir well, 1333 megahertz DDR3. So um, anyways, you get the idea. So I just wanted to show people what this was, 2012, what the specs were on this. So let's go ahead and run some tests on this really quickly. I think people will like this. So, so is this capable system? Let's say you bought this right now and you, you, know, you wanna run Mac OS for school and stuff. You saw how it loaded. Now let's see how it actually pulls up programs here. Let's go for Safari over here. So one, two, three, I just clicked on Safari. Look at that. <laughs> so let's, let's do that. Let's close it out, just show you here. I mean, this is faster than some systems basically that are you know current. So Safari, one, two, click. Look at that, opens that quick. And let's go to like something like We'll go to something like ESPN or something. Again, now this is going to be more, more my internet, obviously, speed and things like that. So, But you can see in here, um, everything loads really quickly. So even the websites and stuff like that. Um, let's go back up here to... These are kind of hard ones to pull up sometimes, like CNN and things like that. So, But you can see, obviously, it's going to have to do with your internet connection and things like that. But look how fast that is. So very, very quick. That's uh, Safari. Let's go ahead and close out of that. I like uh, Chrome, so let's go ahead and I actually downloaded Chrome on this. Let's go to the launch pad. Here's Chrome over here. So one, two, three. And let's go see two little one or two little jumps over here, but Chrome comes right up. And the same thing here. Um, you know, I went to CNN, so I'll go to Fox this time. <laughs> so, so we're being fair for everyone. Um, but you can see, look at how fast it is. I mean, really, really fast, very, very capable system, you know, for being this old. Again, it is basically going to be, obviously, the SSD that has a lot to do with it. But there's something unusual about this SSD, which I'll show you here in a second. I didn't put this one in. I may upgrade it later. But here's, uh, you know, again, Chrome. So let's go ahead and click quick Google Chrome. Um, and let's click it again. And there it is. It's that fast. So you can see, I mean, very responsive, nothing stuttering. Um, I'm going to close down a couple of things here, but everything is very fast. And hopefully people can see that on my system here. So let's go ahead, though, and close out of Chrome right there. What else do people do in here? Obviously, things like just, just some basic tasks, maps. There you go. So, like, let's just take a look at this. I mean, look at this. I mean, if you want to go ahead and look something up that's around... Very fast, again, has to do with your internet a lot of times, but you can see how fast things load and how you can move things around. Um, you know, there's no stuttering, no, no problem running the programs on this system. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and then close out on maps because that's something that's obviously shouldn't be that difficult to run, but you can see how everything else is running in here. So we did Chrome, we did um, Safari. Um, let's go ahead and go into Finder here. So I use um, a couple different programs quite a bit. And uh, let me see here. I gotta find them first, like Keynote, for example. One, two, three, clicked on Keynote. Keynote I use, it had what, two bounces there. It's thinking for a second, but it came up fairly quickly. So if I wanna do a presentation, um, double click on it, look at that. So everything will be very fast in here. Anything you click on is responsive. You can, you know, add things very quickly, you know, add shapes in. A lot of people think like, you know, obviously when you're doing something like this, it's, it's difficult in some cases because, you know, things can stutter and then, you, you know, it just gets frustrating. I just want to show people like anything you do in here on a 2012 right now is super fast. I mean, at least right now. And it's been very responsive for me, so I can't complain. I mean, it's been, you know, incredibly sound system and uh, and I and I'm going to show you that I don't even have the fastest SSD in here which is a shock since so I don't know if it's just having problems with with uh, black magic testing it but we'll get into that in a second so you can see though anything you want to do in here is not a problem this is keynote um, I'm going to close out of that as well some other things that people might use a lot of is basically something like pages you know your word processors so one two two clicks. This is the first time I've actually used this, so I'm going to create a document. But I want to show you the real world experience. I mean, look how fast this is. Um, you know, I'm, go I'm double clicked on that just a second ago, and there it is. So you can go in here and... There you go. So again, fast, no stuttering, very responsive, running all you know applications, especially if you're doing things for, uh, let's say, school and things like that. Putting in charts, moving charts around. Look at this, no problems whatsoever. Um, and uh, you know, I, all in all, I mean, this is really what the system's for. I think it's for probably more. 
um, you know, just creating documents, searching the web, various things like that versus maybe like, you know, 4K editing and stuff if you want to do video editing. It's more than capable like on, on uh, photo editing and things like that. But video, I'll show you in another video. It's going to be good, but it's probably going to be better for 1080p than it is for 4K. But it's still going to be surprisingly good, which I'll get into in another video. But I'll at least show you like iMovie here in a second. But anyways, here's pages. You know, obviously it's loading very quickly. Let's get out of that. Delete that there. <clears throat> and then, so if we get into here, let's go back into my launch pad couple things I want to run here. Let's go to here to uh, iMovie. Now, iMovie, even on some newer systems, I have an iMac right over here, um, 2017. Obviously, it has a lot more power than this one, but still, I mean, iMovie sometimes can, can bounce a couple times, like three or four or five times before it actually opens up. So let's see how the 2012 does. So, so here we go. One, two, three. I clicked on it. As you can see it bounced. That time it bounced twice down here. Opened up the application fairly quickly. Um, Video is here. Let's go ahead and open this up. This is, I think, a test video. Let's go ahead and grab this. Let's put this in the timeline down here. So this is just a video, um, you know, that was in here from a while ago. Nothing special. I think it's like four seconds. But as you can see, I mean, this is a very difficult one to show, obviously. But you can see that at the scrolling, it, it, there's really no stuttering at all in the scrolling. You know, my line here is basically staying stagnant. Um, I don't have a lot of videos to show you right now. I'm going to do a whole video on this. But um, adding things like backgrounds, I mean, if you want to click on this, you know, throw this in here. All right, so let's move this over here. All right, so here's the world map over here. Let's go ahead and throw this in down here. Let's see if this has any problems with this. Anyways, you can see here that it's actually very fast, and you can't expect it. There's a little bit of stuttering, I guess, when you drag things in a little bit, but you can't expect it to be like a, you know, a MacBook Pro 16-inch that costs 2,500 bucks. We paid, you know, under $300 for this, and sometimes you can get these for under 200. So take it with a grain of salt. If you have to do some basic editing on here and you want to, it's going to be very easy. But I'll get into that later. I don't want to go through that right now. So you can see that. Um, let's pull up the Black Magic. This is where some things got a little bit interesting. So if we go into Launchpad, I actually downloaded Black Magic here, so I'm going to click on that. And I can just tell, like, if you see over here, it's actually bouncing. For some reason, it actually, the first, it's the only program that ever came up with the beach ball, so it's kind of spinning there. It does come up, but I'm not sure. It doesn't like Black Magic for some reason. I don't know why. And the speed tests also tell me it doesn't which is interesting. So the weird thing is I ran this before and I don't know what disks in here because the person I bought it from put the SSD in. So I'm guessing it's a pretty low grade one. So this is only going to get better when I upgrade this system over here. Um, long story short, let me do a speed test on this. What I notice is though is the writes are pretty low, the reads are really high, but I'm still getting this performance even though. So if you had a spinning drive in here, this could be like 70 for the megabytes per second for the actual writes and it could be like maybe 70 to 100 for the reads. Let's see what we get. So I'm clicking at it. So it went up to 300 and something. Now it's up to like 180 something, kind of going down. So it was up in the 150s, 160s on the writes. And then if you look over here on the reads, we're up to like 480, 482 on the reads. So it's doing it again. It went up to like 300. This is what's the unusual thing. It keeps going up to like 300 or 400 and it comes right back down. I'm not sure exactly why. Um, now it's up to 142. It's still a lot faster than a spinning drive. This side on the reads is way, way faster. It's 480. So I'm not sure what's going on here. Again, you know, you get the, kind of the same dynamic. I saw it go up to like three, 400, then it comes back down. This is not typical. With an SSD, it should be faster. And you can only imagine um, that this is going to be a way, way faster system when I get a new SSD in here. But you can see even with this, you know, it's very, very capable. It looks now it's up to 190, now it's back down to 150. So not exactly sure why it's doing that. But long story short, it's only going to get better than this. So that's the speed test right there. Um, let's go into... Um, if we do go into somewhere like this and we look at disk utility, um, again, it's a Macintosh. It's an, it, was, it looks like it's APFS volume. That's what they did. It's Mac OS 10.15.2. Again, it's got the, uh, you know, 214 gigs free on this disk drive, and it does say it's an SSD. It does say SATA SSD right here, SATA. But it is, you know, it was, you know, the APFS volume, so it was kind of formatted correctly to run on Catalina. So I don't know. I mean, you know, am I going to try it? Does it really make a lot of sense for me to try to upgrade that so I can get, you know, the three to 400 megabits per second reads and writes? I probably so, so I'm going to probably end up doing that. So anyways, long story short, I wanted to show people this. Let's go ahead and click out of that. But things again like Safari come up instantly. Um, Yahoo, again that depends on your, you know, going to be your internet connection, how fast it is, but you can see usually when you have slow systems they have even have trouble like kind of loading in 
um, a lot of the text and images, even even if you have a fast internet, internet connection, because it doesn't, you know, can't keep up basically. But here you don't get that at all. So my other computer is going to sleep here. Um, so you can see that, you know, so far that's been working good for me, and you know, and and, and basically. That's really all I have to, to report on right now. So, you know, is it capable? Definitely. Is it something that you might want to get uh, for 250 bucks? Definitely. Is it something that I recommend? Definitely. Um, is there better things out there? Definitely. <laughs> so if you only have a budget and you want to get into the Mac ecosystem and you have a monitor laying around like this, a 1080p at least, and you can go higher um, depending on the connections. We'll get into some other videos. Um, but right now, this is, I just wanted to show you basic setup. Good enough for me, I mean, good enough for most people here. Obviously, the screen's a lot different than my iMac over here, um, 5K versus, you know, Mac Mini here, 1080p. Major difference in colors and things like that, but at the end of the day, you know, if you need the Mac ecosystem, this is a great buy. So that's all I'm going to do today, and uh, we'll do a lot more later on this. We're going to do a lot of fun things. Again, it's the 2012 Mac Mini here. All right, so what do you think? It's pretty good, huh? So would you believe for uh, I don't know, under 300 bucks, $270, you can get a system that performs this well right now running Mac OS? That goes to show you, like, if you're actually a student or someone like that and you need something that's just basically, you know, obviously you have to, you know, you have to buy a monitor with this, but... Most people have those laying around. So 270 bucks, if you want to go to college or you, you know, you're, let's say you're in high school or something and you need just a basic system for Mac running Mac OS. I mean, look at the, you know, the, the, this is an incredible value basically. I mean, you can't pick up anything even close to this right now that's new. Um, even like, you know, PC computers don't run this good, you know, in this price range that are this small. I mean, look at this form factor. So at the end of the day, I think this is, you know, 2012, it's late 2012 Mac mini. This is the i5 version. Just keep that in mind. So, you know, obviously it's, it's it's a little bit, um, it's not the i7. And then if you watch my other videos, the i7 is much better because it's a quad core. This is only a you know dual core, but still it's got the eight gigs of RAM, the SSD, and you can see how well this performs. So at the end of the day, I give it, you know, if there's even a star system, I give it five out of five stars because you know you can't beat this. Now, how long can it run the next and the newest OS? I mean, you know, when the next thing comes out after Catalina, will it be able to run it? You know, those are things that are unknown right now. But in the meantime, this is probably the cheapest system you can buy right now to run Mac OS and actually have a good experience. So 2012 late Mac mini, check it out. I make videos on technology. I make them on uh, basically investing, travel, you name it. I just did one on, on brew houses or, or beer gardens in Munich. So um, long story short, watch my stuff. I do mostly technology though. So subscribe to my channel, help me out, you know, help me make some more videos if you can. Got over the thousand, thank God, and uh, just kind of plugging away and making, you know, maybe six to eight a month. Um, trying to make more of them. If you guys can support me, I will. So talk to you soon. Peace. Later.